called the university. When Lee Corlew now, talks about her mother, she beams with pride. When she was uh, at Ole Miss and when she was Miss Ole Miss. So here is the coronation. <laughs> That's what we called it, the coronation. <laughs> But the joy she expresses often turns to sadness when she remembers the other part of her life. It's all these memories I got you. coming back sure. <laughs> that hit you. And, you know, reliving this with my mother, oh, it was horrible. For Corlew and thousands of other Mississippians affected by Alzheimer's disease, two major announcements from the University of Mississippi Medical Center offer hope for the future. The primary announcement is the grant of $26 million from the National Institute of Health to a group, a consortium that UMC will lead in the area of Alzheimer's research. The second announcement is the formation of the Mind Center, which will support this group at, at UMC. The NIH study of Alzheimer's disease and dementia seeks to identify risk factors for cognitive decline by building on knowledge gained from the atherosclerosis risk and community study. It, it will tell us a lot, and there's no other study like that in the nation. And with the creation of the Memory, Impairment, and Neurodegenerative Dementia Research Center, or MIND Center, scientists and researchers plan to establish an internationally recognized research facility to investigate the causes of Alzheimer's disease and prevention and treatment methods. We have been working for a couple of years now, um, both to land this new uh, one-of-a-kind uh, grants and collaboration with these other institutions, as well as to put together a state-of-the-art dementia research center. It just so happens that this uh, large grant has come together at the same time that we have large support from the community in helping us raise private funds for this new mind center. So today, because those two things are related and have come together uh, rather synergistically, um, we've announced them both at the same time, both the new ERIC neurocognitive study and the mind center. We, we intend to raise uh, $9 million in our first phase to bring in additional human resources, top researchers who will when, when they come, bring their teams with them, so it, 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 it's uh, all toward building up a world-class center, a nationally recognized center at UMC, which will be one of the best in the nation. First and foremost, this is about um, health care and improving the lives of people that are likely to have this disease. We're living longer than ever before, which is fantastic. But with that comes this caveat that we are having higher rates of dementia than ever before because age and dementia are highly related. The potential health benefits from this kind of investment are obvious, but Mississippi also benefits in another important way. This will also have a substantial economic impact. We're going to be recruiting nationally recognized scientists who have the potential to bring in uh, millions of dollars in federal research money. That lets us bring young talent who want to work on these grants and stay in Mississippi and those research, those federal research dollars have a multiplier effect in the local economy of some four to seven dollars for every uh, federal dollar brought in for research. So it's, it's important for, for those reasons. Both Palmer and Corlew have been touched by Alzheimer's and now they're advocates, fundraisers, fighting for a cure. And Mosley says that commitment makes all the difference in the world. Lee in particular has such a working knowledge of not only Alzheimer's but the needs of our state. And so, you know, what she brings to the table is not just a passion for this issue, but also a deep understanding of, of what needs to be done, um, both in terms of health care and in terms of the kind of uh, state support that we need to make this thing work. Well, when I was searching for answers for my mother, I uh, was in graduate school at the time, and I said, what can we do? And they said nothing. And I said, hide and watch. <laughs> There's bound to be something. And the researchers and physicians gathered today on Mississippi's Health Sciences campus hope to be part of that something, too. For more information, go to umc.edu.